Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to discuss about the Collis function in a SQL and this is a very much important interview question also. So you should know about the Collis function. So always remember whenever you have to deal with any null values in a table, we use a Collis function. What is the definition? Whenever you have to deal with any null values in the table, we use a Collis function. Let's take one example and let's try to discuss about the few scenarios. So you can see I have this table. This is the employee table. In this employee table, I have employee ID, name, phone, email, alternate email, salary and the bonus. So my first question is like replace null phone number with unknown. So you can see in this phone number column, we have a few null values. Now my requirement is like when, wherever it is coming null, I have to replace with the unknown. So how actually I can write a query for that? I have to write select. Suppose I am taking one name column and after that phone number column. So what I will use? Because few null is there and I have to handle the null with a unknown. So how actually I can write? I will use a Collis function. I will use a phone number column. This is the phone number column. I, I want to replace whatever the null is coming in this phone number column with the unknown. From table name employees. So if I will do this, what I am writing select name is one, my one of the column. Now after that this phone number in the phone number column few values is coming null. So wherever it is coming null, I want to replace with the unknown. So what I am using, I am using a Collis function. First, first is the column name. After that, I am using an unknown from the employee table. Now if I will execute this, now if I will show you, you can see wherever it was coming null, right? It got replaced with the unknown. If I show you in the table, this is my original table. In this original table for Alice, it, it was coming as a null. We have replaced with the unknown with the help of the Collis. So whenever you have to replace any null value with the any default values, we use a Collis function. That is the one use case. Now second use case is like select the first available email. And this is an important interview question also. Now let's understand the scenario. Now in this table, you can see I have one email column. I, I have a one another alternate email column. So my requirement is like if email column is null, then I have to take the data from an alternate email. You can see for ID2, right? ID2 email column is coming null. So in this case, I should take a value from the alternate email. For ID1, email value is there, then I will take it from the email column itself. For ID2, it is null, then I will take it from this alternate email. For ID3, both are null, then the we want only the null. So I want to take first not null value from this email and alternate email columns. How actually I can use that? So I will use select name. I will use a Collis function. Collis. First I will take email. So whatever the first column you will uh, define that will be your first preference. So email. If the email is coming null, then I will take it from the alternate email. Alternate email column alternate email from employees so what I am using if the first first email column is coming null then I will take it from the alternate email if email is null then I will take it from this alternate email now if I will show you and if I will execute this you can see the Alice now we are getting a proper value uh, let me show you the table also Now if you will see this is my table. Now in this table for employee ID 1 Alice example is there. So I have taken for Alice, Alice example dot com is coming. For ID 2 blob email column was null. So what actually it has done? It has taken from this alternate email. So you can see Bob dot example is coming. For ID 3 for Charlie both the column is null. That's why null is coming. But suppose uh, what actually you want? You want to replace this with unknown. So what actually you can write? comma call is unknown from employees now what I have written I have to take it from the email column if the email column is null then I will take it from the alternate email column if the both the column is null then I will replace with the unknown now if I show you if I will execute this table you can see for Alice this is the example for blob first email column was null but I am getting this for Charlie it is coming unknown. 
if i show you the original table also for id1 email is coming so email we are getting for id2 blob this email is null so we have taken it from the bob for id3 for charlie both are null so we have replaced with the unknown so like that actually we can use that now my third question is like uh, calculate the total compensation salary so if i show you in this table this is the table now what i have to find out total compensation means salary plus bonus i have to do but you can see in the bonus column few values are coming null and i have to do a sum this salary and the bonus so 45000 i don't want to plus with the null so what actually i can use this null value first i can replace with the uh, zero and then i can do a plus so how actually i can use this select salary plus police and a bonus so wherever uh, it is coming null i want to replace with the zero from employees now if i'll execute this now you can see all the value we have done the sum up because whatever the null it was coming we have replaced with the zero and we are doing a sum so that is another use case so whenever you have to deal with uh, null values always remember we use a colis function 